In this video, we're gonna show you how to get your old ski boats gel coat going from oxidized, faded, and scratched to look at almost like new. Stick around. Here are the things you're gonna to need to do this process. You're gonna need some really fine wet sand paper. However, my wife is gonna show you the one that she found that's way better than what we used to use. You're gonna need an orbital sander from that. You're gonna need a variable speed polisher. And to go on that polisher, you're gonna need a wool pad for compound buffing. You're gonna to wanna to get a coarse foam pad for polishing. And you're going to want to get an ultra fine pad to finish up polishing it to make it look great. You're also going to need a high gloss gel coat compound. We always use the 3M. It's not cheap, but this guy lasts a long time, does a great job. And you're going to need, need to use some polishing stuff too. 3M does a good job with that too. Oh, uh, you're also going to need a heat gun because in addition to just fixing up this gel coat, we're gonna take all the decals off this boat because they are old and beat up and scratched up. We're gonna put new decals on it also. All right, to get started on this, we have to get all the old decals off this boat. It is just a tedious job. You need to heat up all of the stickers on the boat using the heat gun and use a scraper to get it started and just try and peel it away. My wife and I have found that there's Kind of a perfect temperature to get those decals too, to get them to come off just right. If you don't have it hot enough, when you start peeling them back, they'll just snap and break. If you get it too hot, um, they stretch and they tear. If you get it just right, then you can peel off big sections. Oh, it's so gratifying. residue I'm taking off the decals is decided to stick around so it doesn't come off with the wet sander so I need some goo gone to get that stuff off and your wet sanding will go much better The difference in the sandpaper. I don't know. Where'd you order it from? Amazon. Let's put a link in the description to it. If it's the best that you've gotten. It's Abrolon. Alright. It actually already comes with the foam pad. Most of the time I attach the sandpaper to a foam pad. Um, 
but yeah, it's working right on my sander. You can use any regular orbital sander, and I think this is coming off way better than my other sheets I used before. Nice. All right, so whether you're buffing with compound and a wool pad, or you're polishing with a foam pad, the process is basically the same. You're taking your polisher with your tool on there, you're getting your compound onto the surface of the boat. You'll start at a low variable speed to make sure that you're getting the compound worked into all of the gel coat. And then you'll take it up a few notches, take it up a few notches and finish with a real high vibration to get it really buffed out. All right, so now it's time to polish. It's basically the exact same process, except for instead of using the compound and the wool, we're gonna use that polish and we're gonna use foam pads. We're gonna start with the coarse, do the entire boat, and then we're gonna switch to a fine pad and do the entire boat. It's just a bunch of elbow grease, but it doesn't cost much more than the product that you need to get to start with.
And that's it, the boat is buffed and polished. We'll put a coat of wax on it, but not before my wife puts all the decals on the outside of the boat. Thanks for sticking around for all of these less exciting parts to this boat restoration. If you're not subscribed, now's the time to do it because we're about to jump into all the fun stuff of putting on decals, carpeting the boat, all the finishing touches, and the upholstery. So thanks for watching that video. I hope you have a ski boat that you're working on yourself.